This video was meant to find you. As 888 is the sign of abundance, and this is what we are going to talk about in this video, abundance and why you don't have it. And I'm talking about financial abundance. And if you are struggling with financial abundance, then you must watch this video to really know why you do not have what you want. If you want financial freedom, if you want abundance in every area of your life and you are struggling with it, then there's a reason why you are struggling with it. And this is why you cannot ignore this. And this video is for you to see why you have been struggling financially. Have you noticed the more importance you give to something, the less you have? So if you are giving a lot of importance to money, the less you have. When we give importance to something, we are changing the energy of the planet. So anything we give so much importance, the reason we give importance because we don't have that thing, whether it's love, desperately needing that someone to love you, or if it's money, desperately wanting and needing money, and you are giving so much importance to that. Whenever we give so much importance to something, we are changing the energy. We are imbalancing the energy because we are focused on something we don't have. Because if we did have, we would not give so much importance, right? If we had something in our life, we're not going to focus purely on that thing. If I have roof over my head, I'm grateful to have roof over my head, but I'm not thinking about having a home. I'm not focused, desperately needing a home because I already have it. I don't have to desperately seek that because I have it. When we put so much importance on something and we keep our focus on that thing desperately, the less likely we are going to have it. The reason it is because it's a universal law. You are imbalancing the energy of the universe by focusing on something that you do not have. So when you focus on something you do not have and you are imbalancing the energy, you are actually sending the signal to the universe that I do not have this thing and I'm really focused on that thing. Because you're so focused on the thing that you don't have, i.e. money, universe sees that as you are focusing on not having money. Therefore, you will not have money. Simple as. It doesn't judge you. It doesn't question you. It just follows your energy. And if the energy is desperate and needing and focused on not having money, that's what it reads. It reads, you do not have money and you're focused on not having money. Therefore, you will not have money. It's as simple as that. Do you see that? So when we give importance to something, that we do not have, we will less likely to have it. And universal truth is, you are born abundant. You already have abundance. But we are fighting to prove that we do not have by focusing on not having. Therefore, we are putting that on pedestal. We are imbalancing ourselves and we are putting this energy on pedestal saying that I do not have money. And that's our focus, that we do not have money. Therefore, I'm not going to sign up for a program. I'm not going to go on a holiday. I'm not going to uh, spend money on myself. I'm not going to invest in myself because I do not have it. Because you've constantly confirmed that you do not have it, therefore you do not have it. Because you are living the life as someone who doesn't have it. 
when you live a life that shows, that project that you are poor, that you do not have, you will not have because that's the life you're leading. But the universal, the actual, the highest truth is you are born abundant. You have the money. The only reason you do not have the money in your physical reality is because of the importance, is because of the beliefs that keeps you away from the money. Your collective conditioning, the way you've been conditioned, collective beliefs that you have bought into creates this smoke mirror between you and your reality. And your truest reality is you are abundant. If money exists on this planet and you exist on this planet, you are abundant because ultimately we are all one. If we are all one, then why you do not have money? Is because of the beliefs. Is because of the filter that you have created to keep yourself detached. And by telling yourself this story that you do not have, therefore you are living a life that shows that you do not have, therefore you are keeping yourself in limitations because of these beliefs, these filters that you have creating and those are the filters you are looking the reality. And it will keep you in that limitations because you are filtering your life through that reality. You are projecting yourself as somebody who does not have money. So you will not do anything of a person who has money. You will not live abundantly. You will not do things that people with abundance do. And because you will keep giving reasons and excuses to live in your limitations, you will always live in your limitations. This is why the breakthrough happens when you become uncomfortable in doing something that you have never done. That's when you break through your current paradigm or current belief system. But if you keep buying into that belief, oh, I don't have the money, I'm not going to do this, I'm not going to heal myself, I'm not going to go on traveling, I'm not going to buy new clothes, I am not going to live a prosperous life because I have these, I don't have the money, right? Therefore, I'm focused on not having the money, therefore, I do not have the money. So it is about the art of normalizing normalizing abundance into your life. Because when you have something, you do not keep your pure focus on that thing, right? You will not do that because you already have. And the highest truth is you already have abundance. You already have abundance. The only thing that you are not able to see that in your reality because of your own sabotaging behaviors and beliefs. God didn't say that you will not be abundant. God did not say that you will suffer. You are suffering because you believe this is what you meant to have. These are your own belief system. Therefore, you cannot blame God because God never said that. The creation never said that. You believe that to be true, therefore you are suffering, therefore you do not have the money, therefore you will suffer because you believe that to be true. And because as human being and only human being have this gift of free will, God said that you will have free will, you have the option to have a choice in your life. So you are choosing because you have that gift. You have the free will. So you using your free will to choose to suffer because you are not seeing the ultimate truth of reality that God wants you to be healed and happy and joyful and abundant. But because of the filter within you, the conditioning, the beliefs, the smoke screens are keeping you in this reality that is not aligned with your highest truth, that is misaligned 
and hence why you do not have what you want. You do not have money because of that reason. Do you see this? Why you are struggling? So when I say art of normalizing, normalize abundance. How would it show when you are abundant? How to release the importance of having money? How to let go of that importance and normalizing and balancing the energy that you already have? If you have strong faith, if you believe in God, if you completely, truly, absolutely, you have faith in God, then you would believe 100% of the time that you are abundant because you are born abundant. And if you move in your life with that faith, if you move in your life with that truth, there's no reason why you will not have abundance. So this is why it is important for you to normalize, stop giving so much importance to not having money and make a decision from a place that you are already abundant. You already have the money. You already are prosperous. And having and making decisions from that place will change your paradigm, change your belief system, change the way you see yourself. And the way you see yourself, when you change that, you will exponentially grow towards matching that reality, which is the truth. So I hope this video has kind of given you exactly what you needed. And that's why you meant to see this, to have this understanding of why you do not have abundance is because you are giving too much importance to having money. And this is why you are lacking money. So in order to let go of that is to normalize and understand and stop giving that so much importance to something that you do not have. Let it go. Allow yourself to be in this balance that you already have. When we normalize, we will have abundantly. We have abundance of food. We eat every single day. Constantly focus on not having food because we abundantly believe that to be true and we have it. Nothing is going to take that away from you. You will have food every single day. There's no, there's no doubt. There's no fear around food. If you had fear around food, if you had doubt around food, you would not be eating every day because it is abundantly available for you. It's normal. You eat. You don't think about it. You are grateful for it. You are thankful for it, but you are not obsessed about it. You're like, okay, yeah, I'm going to have food in the evening. I'm going to have breakfast. I'm going to have dinner. I'm going to have plenty of water to drink. I'm not obsessed about drinking water, right? We're not obsessed about eating food because it already exists. It's already have. We already have it. Exactly the same way the money exists and it is yours. The only thing that is stopping you from receiving in your physical reality is you, your beliefs, your um, obsession and need and desperation towards money or of believing that you do not have. Therefore, you suffer. Therefore, you struggle. Therefore, you do not have. I hope it, this is absolutely clear and you understand what you need to do going forward to change that narrative and normalize this energy that it's okay that you already have, that it already exists, you're already abundant and moving, making decision from an abundant space. And I have an amazing news that I have launched, pre-launched my healing academy that is all about healing your inner struggles, pain, trauma, fear, doubt, releasing all those lies that you have kept within you for you to be aligned with your truest version. And currently, I have very limited space in this healing academy where people who are ready and willing and committed to going all in, who are absolutely ready to invest in themselves, I am only inviting those people. So only check out and follow the link that I'm going to link below and um, book a call with me if you're absolutely ready to heal everything that has held you back. If you're ready and willing, you will receive a really great offer that I'm offering right now that will help you to heal 
and it's a lifetime access for time being, but it will go away very, very soon. So check out the link below if you're ready for healing. And this healing academy is really about healing you, releasing you from everything that has held you back in life and make you realize who you truly are and make you aligned with your truest version. But like I said, only book a call if you're completely ready. You can invest in yourself financially and you're ready to release everything that has held you back. Check the link below and I cannot wait to speak to you. Other than that, like this video if you like this video and subscribe to my channel and may the light in me reaches the light in you.